Hey guys, today I'm on the Naughton Trails in Naughton, Ontario. They're a set of ski trails. They have a one, three, five, and nine kilometer system. And uh, I bring the girls here in the winter, uh, some really good groomed trails, but they're great in the summer as well for hiking on. Uh, they also have bike trails here. Every 75 yards or so, you'll see uh, mountain bike trails crisscrossing off. They're all named, and I don't know how many trails there are. There are probably a hundred. And uh, they actually have uh, different provincial trials and things here, so it's a, it's a pretty good trail system. Uh, in the summer last year, I've seen all kinds of animals, deer, moose, bear, uh, all kinds of birds. And I've hiked here a few times, so today I thought I'd just throw the camera in the bag and take a hike and see what we can find and I'll make a video. On the video camera today I'm going to be trying uh, this extender so we can maybe get in on some birds. And this is a 1.7 Sony uh, teleconverter. It's a VCL HGD 1758. It's a little bit of an older uh, teleconverter, but I've done some trials with it. It's very sharp. Uh, you guys have seen I also did a couple of reviews uh, for Olympus teleconverters, they're pretty good. This Sony is actually a little bit better than the Olympus converter that I reviewed before. There's uh, less fringing and it's it's very very sharp uh, converter. So we're gonna try it today and you'll see some footage. In my pack sack I'm carrying the A77 II and the A99. The A99 has a 1935 lens on it and I've brought the 75-200 Sigma for the uh, A77. And I've also brought my 100 macro lens just in case we see any spider webs or bugs or anything like that. I'll stop and do what we have to do to get some shots. So we'll take a hike and see what I can show you. So I just figured I'd show you guys, this is the main trail that I've just come up here. It's one of the main ski trails. Uh, beautiful tall tree forest here. And then if you look every 75 yards, 100 yards, they have these bike trails that come off. And they're all marked and named. But uh, that's what we have all through here. Like I say, there's nine kilometers of this main trail uh, and all kinds of branches that come off of that. But you can do a nine kilometer loop, a one, a three, and a five. So it's a great place to hike. Okay, so I've just spent about 10 minutes chasing some sparrows and warblers around here and I wanted to show you guys um, the reason that it's important to have the camera that I do. All of the controls are on the outside. So each one of these three buttons uh, controls shutter speed, gain, and your iris. And that's very important to have quick access to your manual controls. And uh, this Sony CX900 here is the first um, prosumer camcorder, we'll say, from Sony that actually has those external controls. Everything else, it was always buried in a menu and it was very hard to get at. The other nice feature about this one is it has, um, it has a button on the front that allows you to switch to manual and autofocus right off the bat. So you just push the button and then you turn the ring and you're manually focusing. So everything I do with these small birds has to be manually focused. They're just so small that you there's no way that the autofocus can catch them. Uh, unless you're within, you know, eight, nine feet and they're just kind of sitting in one spot on the branch, then you can switch to, to autofocus. And a nice feature when you do that is if you touch the screen on here, it will actually track focus. There, there's a box on there, I don't know if you can see it, but it shows that it locks focus on whatever, wherever you touch. And then it'll stay focused on that spot. Here's an instance where I'm using the tracking focus right now because the bird's just sitting on the branch in one place, so.
And then just to make absolute sure that I get the bird in focus, I'll reshoot it in manual if they stay long enough, which is rare. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, these trails are full of berries. Uh, right now their strawberries are starting, but in the uh, later part of the season, the blackberries here are fantastic. They uh, grow along the bike trails, which are fairly uh, wide open along the edges, and I've come and we've, we've picked enough to, to bake you know, a dozen pies, like there's that many blackberries. Blueberries are really good here as well, but they're good everywhere in Sudbury, so that's another reason to come to these trails. Uh, when I went to uh, film this setup in the direct sunlight, I realized there's another important feature of this camcorder I forgot to mention. It has built-in uh, ND filters. Uh, so if you want to keep shooting at that 1 1 uh, you have filters on the back, three settings, and right now we're shooting with an ND of 1. Otherwise, just in this basic uh, bright sunlight right here, we were up over 800th shutter speed, and for video that's uh, not good. You'll get some distorted images when you do that. Okay, I'm going to try to take you guys through a sequence here. I use my eyes to look in the forest and see where the birds are. And once I find the birds, I'm zoomed way back here on my camera. Because if you're zoomed in, you'll never find them. And of course, as soon as I started here, the bird I was going to show you has moved. But uh, what I do is I find where the bird is, and then I try to look down at the screen and find on the screen where I'm where the bird is, and you can see it just flew right by right there, the one I was going to show you. And that seems to happen about 98% of the time. As soon as you find where uh, one is, they don't stay still long enough to, to zoom in and focus. And it's really difficult to find them sometimes. Like there's a bird right here, and you can't see him in the little screen. There's no way. And then we gotta manually focus. It's very difficult. And that's not even making any adjustments uh, to my exposure. I have it set on f8 and my 1 1 20th shutter speed, and I'm just letting the gain go up and down. So it's. You better have the aperture set that you want and the shutter speed that you want. It's just too much. But that's kind of the difficulty that I'm, I'm working with. And as you can see behind this stuff, autofocus, not going to happen. Well, as you guys can see, I've lost the good sunlight I had this morning. Uh, I've hiked uh, pretty much nine kilometers around, and uh, I'm gonna go back and hit a side trail with my macro lens and just do a little hike that way. But I just wanted to say uh, thanks for checking out the trails. There's lots of stuff to see here. Hopefully I can put enough stuff together in the video that it's entertaining. And uh, come and check out the trails. There's uh, no summer passes or anything, it's free. You just drive right to the trails. They're easy to get to, easy to hike. 
not hard. If you can walk, you can walk these trails. There are no obstacles or anything to get past. Uh, the bugs are medium. Uh, there's some trails that go down into lower areas. They'll be bad, of course, so wear bug spray, but uh, excellent trails, lots to see, and hope you guys enjoy the video.